hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to play a co-op mission which is into China multiplayer by Syrac. So basically it is uh, yeah, the co-op version of the third mission of the Mongols campaign. Good. Let's get a town center up here. Okay, and here's the big wall. Let's do some resources sitting right right under it. Which is yeah. Uh critical at the beginning. Because yeah, we we need to have something going in terms of, of military as soon as the enemy attacks. They start attacking when they hit castle age. So we have some time to build up, but we should not neglect our military either. Okay, first player is in castle age. I should start to train a few Mangadai. Oh dear. This castle, there we go. You might want to get back to work. down everybody now. That's good. It's time to get a few trade cards. Okay, yeah, Imperial Age is a good idea actually. We got some, some of this. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> okay. That wasn't that bad now. Okay, crossfire for two castles. That's all we really need. Yeah. 
Mangadai as well. Okay, idols, let's get you something to do. This gold will be ours very soon. In chain barding armor. I cannot afford the Hassa upgrade just yet. Let's try some of those towers. Because those are really problematic at the moment. A few monks might actually be a good idea, however. Oh, there is a, a lot of gold here. Even now, last promise. All right. Actually, the northern deck has been repelled. Really cave in. Let's actually get this wood here as well. Okay, just keep pushing. Some healing would be very nice. We can't really get any more progress at the moment without any cavalry. There we go. Shouldn't look into trebuchets just yet. Fortifications aren't all too heavy, so there's definitely something we can overcome. And enough for Hassa. I 
Hustlers. Hustlers are really, really, really valuable here just to disrupt their formations. Yes, similar. Put the dead. The looks of it. Since we already carried captured some territory, it shouldn't be, be hard to take a lot of control over this. Okay. Lots of resources here captured as well. That's good. What? I just buy some of this. Get another town center here in China. To have the first big economy. So, actually, capturing this island here really is the most important thing you can do in all the game, I think. Because it's just so. Well, relatively easy to, to capture. Not much resistance. But very high value to get out of it. Should probably start something some going over here as well. Very nice. Okay, and now purple race from the north, pushing with sea trams and Mangudai. Good Mongol way to do things. Goods will perish very soon as well. Some buildings real quick. Also adding monks for extra sustainability. Need to get rid of the winter now. I think I might have a few too many villages actually. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, we can reach yellow pearl land, which is nice. Okay, for the military. Oh. Very glad that we're not facing any demolition ships now. This could be a real pain. Wait a second. Movement speed for monks. This is quite important. are defeated as well. Okay, 140 years left. Some more manga die. Uh. Oh dear. Okay, reinforcements arrive now. This stuff is really annoying. Standing in the way. The second summer traveler shares. Okay, eighty years. I think we should be able to make this. HP, wow. That's impressive. It's over. Sixty years. It's just all go for the wonder. Now the rest for the time being. 
bringen uns hier jetzt also Reinforcements in. Fifty years left. Okay, this one is going down there. Wow. <laughs> that was pretty close. left here that's okay. so tell it's standing outpost trade card oh there's a dock Fishing ships as well, but those really can be sniped very easily. Chocolu. Since the castle is dead, what's this? A mining camp. Alright. Some keeps. Hmm, they are quite quite beefy. I still got that trap lying around. Just kill this. Just take the others out. Okay, they still have some fun going. Interesting. Defeated. Can't pull my remaining troops from this island. Leaving nothing but ruins. The Mongol way, so to say. Okay, they're getting it down. Might be nice. Okay. And a few more hassles. Oh, my treasure got killed. There's my light cavalry, okay. It's a little bit closer tension here. Place. Tell us your intake. Oh, this is a green stable. Uh, so it did indeed spread out. And not much more we need to hunt down. Ok, 
Okay, I see a tram coming in. That's a lot of gold here. So I think military is more important at this point and my economy is strong enough. This is only about clearing the remaining buildings now. There's not much else left to do. There's some more, some more stone to take here, but not one of those towers. Castle here. It's just about to clean the last of the remaining buildings, I think. That looks like this really is the last building remaining. There we go. Victorious. <laughs> Hi, YouTube, indeed. So. I've enjoyed this scenario quite a lot. It's uh, this was played on highest difficulty, so the big early rushes were quite intense. We hadn't had all this cast all these castles up already. It's been even harder to deal with those, so definitely uh, quite some challenge in this. Although for seasoned players, it's it's more of a, of a casual scenario. So some some grinding really involved here with uh, getting through the gates the first time. It really helps out that you have multiple angles to attack, so just mindlessly pushing down one road may maybe will not get you where you want to. But yeah, uh, you could also go for water actually, which we did just completely ignore, since um, there is quite some fish when uh, you don't let the gin take everything of that. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, this would have been another option. Got to just just sneak some transport ships over here to start taking the gold in the early game. That could be another viable strategy. But yeah, oh, uh, so I think yeah, this is all I would have to say today. I would like to thank you a lot for watching and uh, wish you a great day. And uh, goodbye until the next one.